So now that we're going into week four with Division 2 to 9, and the division as a whole is just starting to work together a lot better. Division 2 to 9, all present are kind of force, sir. Very well. The standard is set, and they have to do what they can do to reach the standard, and that's helping bring them together as a team. They say that um, basic training doesn't get better, you get better. I think that's definitely true. When we first picked the division up, we can barely get them to stand still and just left or right face. But now coming to week four training, they've been marching everywhere, every single day together since the first day we got them. Now I'm marching every day. Now I'm marching every day. Hey. Yeah, our, our progression, it's been really cool seeing it and just looking back on our PDA days and the first day that we tried to start marching and how horrible it looked. And it's kind of like the progression just happened um, right before our eyes. The transition is night and day. Every time Cadences come on, I'm always in the back screaming. You, know, you can hear my voice all the way in the front. The U.S. Navy is the best. The U.S. Navy is the best. The division has come a long way physically, but they still have a long way to go. Here at Recruit Training Command, we have physical fitness training six days a week. So about three days a week, we do some in-house physical fitness activities which are a lot of push-ups, jumping jacks, running planks, different exercises that we can do right here in a small space to get the recruits in better shape. And then uh, four days a week, we go over to Freedom Hall where they get to run. So it's all a building block to get them up to the standard that the Navy wants them to be at prior to leaving Recruit Training Command. Yeah, I've seen my waistline go down, which is awesome. Fitness is, is going well, you know, it, it also helps that we've been put on our faces every day. So I try to think about that when we have to do our little flow kicks and 10 count cord builders. So it, it has certainly improved PZ for sure. Down. From my perspective, I do think we are good friends, Chief. In a professional standpoint, yes, Chief. Professional. Explain to me what professionalism is when you're going out of your way to talk to each other. You're talking to each other in inappropriate places. You're talking to each other when you should not be. So you tell me about professionalism. Every single day. You better fix your military just, bearing right now. I'm sorry, Chief. Chief. Shut up! All right, Chief. Here's the point. Conversations shouldn't be had. Good friends, not in my boot camp. Everything that you guys are doing is against good order and discipline. I'm going to ensure that whatever relationship you're trying to have here in boot camp, whether it's just good friends, social buddies, or whatever you word it, I'm going to make sure that it doesn't happen here. Do the workout correctly. Get off your knees! Get off the deck! Okay. Don't let my last chief. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. Marlon and Spike is a huge team evolution. Get up here, go, go, go! So if a division feels that they, they operate as a team, they get to Marlon and Spike and they find out exactly what real teamwork is. All right, now you're gonna put four figure eights! Learning how to tie a knot and cast off the line and actually tie down the ship, I felt like was a lot more practical. Everybody has to be able to get the ship underway. And so when it comes down to line handling, when it comes down to that Marlon and Spike evolution, they got to work together. Life before Marlon Spike and life after Marlon Spike was night and day. Go, we got this, let's go! Slam it, slam it. So that was really hard, but I felt like it made us 
it forced us to work together. Every single sailor is a firefighter. Now, damage control training is uh, extremely important. Everybody has to know it. If they don't have the proper training, then you lose the ship. And that's one of the damage control ten commandments. You do not give up the ship. You, you don't really think about all the things that can happen while you're in the middle of the ocean. You know, your ship going down or being attacked, and then really all you have is each other and the skills that you learn. Yes. I am, I, I'm, I'm really confident that something was wrong, you know, for example, with the um, conference this chamber. chamber. This will be the best work day of boot camp, hoo yeah? I want everybody to repeat after me, embrace the suck. Embrace the suck! You would think, okay, so is this mask really going to cover me and keep me alive? It's called confidence chamber for a reason, it gives you the confidence on the equipment of the Navy. It wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I think on a scale of one to 10, I would've gave it like a five. It burns. Oh, it right still here. burns. Like right under my nose, it burns. But I think we sliced it a little bit more than we needed to. I, mean, my, I just cried a lot. My eyes were watering, they still water. I really didn't call for it. Like, it wasn't that bad as to say the world. Right, you know what? Y'all got confidence in that gear? That's what I'm talking about. Y'all see this? That means it's a good day. Good day to be in the Navy. Who are y'all, Navy? I do believe that they're doing a lot better job getting these recruits a basic knowledge of what they're going to be expected to do once they get out to the fleet. You feel the weight of that? Just imagine. So I know when I came to boot camp nine years ago, we had a three or four day course on firefighting and then two days on line handling. And now the recruits are getting it every single week once they hit week four until the, the week they graduate. And I think that will help prepare sailors for the fleet a lot better. One of the primary things that we all do as instructors is we give these recruits uh, the experience, the, the real life experience of, first of all, handling this weapon in an environment that's close to reality. It's not quiet, it's not passive. Uh, it, it's gonna take enthusiasm to survive in an environment like this. So that's pretty much what we do. Get a good aggressive stand. Point at your target like you missed. I didn't miss my target, which was great, so I think I did all right. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed shooting, new, uh, shooting weapons. Since uh, the P days to now, they're, they're completely different recruits. Every time we walk past um, Pearl Harbor, which is where P days was, we kind of see through the window the people in their PT and their sweatsuits, and we're like, man, that was us only a few weeks ago. And that was us looking out the window at some of our senior divs, and we were like, man, I wish I was there, and they're marching, and they have on their uniforms and their flags, and that's so cool, and we just got here three days ago. They understand that they have to work together as a team. They understand that no one can make it through boot camp completely by themselves. That's the biggest thing and the thing that makes you the most proud as an RDC is when you see them work together as a team, understand each other's weaknesses and really, really just come together. B-I-C-T-O-R-Y-C-I-C-T-O-R-Y-C-I-C-T-O-R-Y-C-I-C-T-O-R-Y-C-I-C-T-O-R-Y-C-I-C-T-O-R-Y-C-I-C-T-O-